Oh yeah, so uh, we're banning Steve here at this local very soon. Yeah, we don't like Steve. Steve, get out of here. Decision coming down from Top Brass any minute now. <laughs> Alright everybody, welcome back. It is Redacted on the mic. Talking to you, not about classified government documents or crazy anomalous entities, but about Smash Brothers. They're both going random. Oh man, that's crazy. Hey, let's go Snake! I'm a, I'm a former Snake main, always got love for Snake, explicitly trained for Snake. Yo, this matchup's like almost close to even. It's kind of crazy actually, when you think about it. I, my only guess is that Snake doesn't even really like cussing with dogs, you know? Why would he? He's a good guy. Snake Lee Santa exists. No way he's a dick. Alright, but getting into this match, we got a... Um... <laughs> we really going random here, because these people do not know what's happening. I think, uh, I think Mr. Wagon has a little bit of a better grasp on how to play his respective character. There's some uh, interesting things going on. One thing to note is that the grenade timer remains from when Isabel or Villager pockets it. So if you were, if the grenade was out for two seconds when the pocket happens, that's how long it has when they release it. So popping grenades can really be a double-edged sword for the, for the Billy Twins. Well, I guess the Billy uh, the Villagers. 
Uh, double jab. Uh, usually jab one is a little better. I think they have more frame advantage there. But nevertheless, I think these guys are just here to have some fun. Alright. You know, wow, very good edge guard. Drop down there. Recognizing that Snake is more vulnerable when he recovers low than when he recovers high. By a fair, by a fair margin. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, DDP's having some trouble. But, uh, he does get the triple dash attack. Looking like three bars of Wi-Fi, baby. Oh, man. That local... Oh, he got the stick! Oh, he gets the roll. Oh, wait, he saw a grenade on him! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> DDP says, I don't even need this game. I'm just gonna stun. Alright, looks like some good combo starting up from uh, Wagon Food. Really knows the, the good basics on this character. Not, not many people do. You know, if you pocket Mortar, though, that's scary. Uh, mortar kills Snake at like 50 if it's pocketed. It's a really strong pocket there. I think it's one of the better pockets that Snake can get. Okay. Alright, up smash. Okay, alright. Looks like Wagon Food's trying to take a commanding lead here. If he gets the stock, uh, this will go pretty solidly in his favor. Baits out the C4. Uh, hello. Uh, this is Common Candy Soul Game here. Oh, she got her little mine, their little potato mine. A little bit of Plants vs. Zombies action in here. Uh, yo, you think, alright, in a game of Plants vs. Zombies, you think Isabel would protect Crazy Days? Yes or no? Anyone in the chat? Yes or no? Alright, I, I don't know if I'm going to get a response there, but what is happening right now is that Isabel is putting the pain on Mr. Military Man. Backing up this percent, you know? I mean, uh, DTP's inexperienced with the character certainly showing at this point. Although his dash attacks, uh, down smash, oh, not quite enough. Good the eye on that, you know. A lot of people don't expect that. They're the eyeing a different way, maybe for what they expect to be an up to this round. Oh, nah, not quite. We didn't quite have the angle on that. Uh, Alright, four two. Uh, good ledge trap set up there. Unfortunately, uh, that works a little bit better when they have less time. Good weight on the air dodge. This is looking tough. Oh, what? <laughs> I've never seen that. What the heck? I don't even know what to say. Okay, there we go. One hit of up smash. You know, okay. That's a minus three matchup. It's on your first. is consistently Oh, okay, we do have a response. Wow, you know, uh, uh, we got Mr. Playful over here telling us that Isabel would, in fact, let Crazy Dave get his brain eaten oh by gosh. undead creatures of the night. Yo, he's Yo, committing back. to the random. <laughs> Respect. Yo, okay, uh, I'm pretty sure DTP has at least a passing knowledge of how to play Palu. Yeah, I think this is what the passing knowledge entails. Uh, okay, alright, alright. <laughs> But it looks like Wagon Food has a good amount of experience with uh, with Ices here. Uh, pretty doing a really good job right now of boxing out Kalu. And ooh, a double carry. Very impressive in DTT, but unfortunately, not that easy to get a punish off of it. And Wagon really knowing that there, the gaps the Ices create with their two character gimmick helps them get a lot of counter hits in places you don't expect. You gotta hit them in a certain way. It's uh it's like a melee and brawl veteran thing, you know? Alright, looks like we should start up. Uh trying to camp out a little bit more, trying to keep the distance because Icy's up close can uh, throw down with the best of them. Alright. Oh Nana makes it back. That's unfortunate. DTP could have eaten that game up. 
But right now he's going to be eating some pretty hefty damage from Icy's. Their confirms are not very soft, let me tell you. Those hammers are banging your skull. Alright, good back here to get the squall. Uh, probably back here being- oh no. Alright, uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe he does not need mana. Sopo saying, you know what, I don't need to pay alimony, I'm gonna just go in myself, I'm gonna just swing my hammer and get me started. Uh, okay. Good recovery, and it seems like his cry of, I do not need it, is starting to ring true. Already racking up a good amount of percent, and, oh my gosh, evading the edge guard. Is this gonna be a three stop with Sopo? I mean, crowd. Yo, crowd, three stop for the Sopo? Three stop for the Sopo? Oh, man. No, sir, no, sir. We were denied, but it seems like Wagon Crew will not be denied from, uh, from this game, at least. Looking really strong, leaving Nana behind saying, again, I do not need her. I ride and die solo. Solo dolo in this game. Let's trap situation coming up here. Those down tilts are brutal. If you DI those wrong, that angle will send you out or have you send them straight down to hell itself. Don't let the hags get you. Okay. I know back here off ledge. Still had the right idea. Oh, just misses the forward smash. That would have ended the game. Anything is possible here. PPP just needs one corner pair. Oh, that other man is going to take it. Good stuff to both players. Thank you.